Let's discuss the concept of excess pressure inside a liquid drop. We know well that uh, due to surface tension, the surface of a liquid has a tendency to contract because it is acting like a stretch membrane. So, we can simply write that uh, due to surface tension, the surface of a liquid drop tend to contract and compresses the enclosed matter due to which pressure inside increases. It's quite obvious that if there is a liquid drop inside if a liquid is there and if its surface is having a tendency to act like a stretched membrane as being a free surface it will have a tendency to contract because it is acting like uh, an extended spring or elongated elastic sheet. So, as it is having a tendency to contract we can see inside the pressure will be more compared to outside point. Even if we consider a point A inside and a point B outside, and if we consider a small section of the surface, we can see that it is having the convex curvature on side B. It shows that pressure at A is more than that of B. Then only the surface will be convex on the side of B. Otherwise, if the pressures are equal at A and B, the surface would be flat. So, in a liquid drop, it is taking a spherical shape because of its surface tension only. So, we can always state that pressure at point A is more than pressure at point B. If we wish to calculate the pressure, we can simply state the excess pressure will have a tendency to push the liquid surface in outward direction and surface tension is having a surface to contract it. And as the two forces, one is due to the excess pressure and other is due to the surface tension when the two will get balanced uh, the liquid uh, drop will be in equilibrium. So, we can simply state in equilibrium of a drop the difference in inside and outside pressure is called excess pressure. And now we are going to calculate this excess pressure which we can denote here as P excess. And uh, to find out the value of this P excess, let's uh, consider that we split the drop in two hemispheres, one is the left and the other is right. And uh, at the edges of these two hemispheres, you can say the surface tension will be exerting a force which is tangential to the two parts of hemisphere. And as the circumference of the base of the hemisphere is 2 pi r, we can simply write the force of surface tension will be T into 2 pi r. That will be acting on each hemisphere due to the surface tension. And this surface tension force is having a tendency to pull the hemispherical drop to the left and the excess pressure will be having a tendency to push it in outward direction. So, we can simply state for equilibrium of uh, the hemispherical section of drop, we can simply write the force due to surface tension which is T into 2 pi r must be equal to the force due to excess pressure as the area of this base is pi r square and inside the excess pressure is p excess. So, it will be p excess into pi r square. There is a force applied by the excess pressure on this hemispherical part of the drop in outward direction. So, from here this pi gets cancelled out, one r will cancel. And the value of excess pressure inside a liquid drop we can write as 2 t by r. I would advise you to just keep this expression on your tips as it is one of the most important expression.
for the excess pressure inside a liquid drop which depends on the surface tension and the radius of curvature. Here we can see if the radius of curvature is less, if the drop is smaller, the excess pressure will be more and if the drop is large, as radius increases, the excess pressure will decrease.